Welcome back viewers. In this video, you will learn how to generate PDF using a Python Flask. If you want your customer to generate PDF from their order, so you can do it. And we are going to learn how to generate PDF out of this order. So we will make PDF of this order. So let's start. First of all, you have to install some dependency. So I will just come here, write Google and write PDF kit python and if you click here and this will show you you have to install this install pdf kit and install wk html to pdf so main thing is this one sometimes makes problem for you and you have to install this one manually and if you cannot install from here if you click here this link will take you their website wk html to pdf and here if you scroll down this will show you how do I use it and then you have to click here for the download and you can see these uh, all are the type if you are using a window you can download and install this for the window and Linux and uh, Mac for all so I have already installed this one and also a PDF kit so I don't need to install it again uh, I will just come here pull my terminal and here so I will just write here pip install PDF kit so here you can see the requirement already satisfied uh, this PDF kit is already installed in my machine so I don't need to install so what I can do I will go one step back and here run my server python run dot Pi and you can see now my server is running so I will open my VS code here uh, here you can see we have this route of orders so first of all I have to import this PDF kit import PDF kit so next thing what I can do I will come here always down so here you can see we have this route of orders I will just copy this all so we don't need to type it again and I will come just here and paste it down I will just write here get underscore PDF so here I will also I will just copy and paste it here so and uh, here I will just give it methods equal to we are going to just have post and then what I can do I will just come here and what I can do I will just write here if request dot method equal equal to post then we are going to do these things so I will just come here and give it one tab what it will do I will just remove this else we don't need for now and this one I will give also one tab here I will make this return a variable this will be rendered I will just make it rendered equal to render template and this one order I will change it as PDF and uh, this subtotal we don't need here I will write just PDF equal to PDF kit from string and here we will pass this rendered and then second parameter will be false and then I will write here response this will be equal to mac response I guess we didn't imported this mac response this will be here in inside the flask so we have to import this mac response so here now I will come here response will be equal to mac response and here we will pass this pdf variable after that I will write here response 
dot headers and then square brackets inside you will write the content dash capital T type equal to application slash PDF we are going to get this PDF application so slash PDF so second here will be response dot headers and square brackets inside here we are going to write this content dash disposition position and D should be capital should be equal to I write here inline so inline will be just it will generate and if you write attached that will be downloaded so we will demonstrate that will later so then colon and uh, file name should be equal to I will just give it this invoice here so if you want you can give file name no problem so I just write dot PDF so this will be our file name then we are going to return this uh, response if we have their post this should be inside this post not outside so this one I will make it inside the post I will come here and here we are going to return redirect I will just redirect this to others so URL 4 orders so I will come here we have this orders I will just now redirect here let's see how it is working now this page is completed from here what I can do I will come here in customer so here you can see we have order register I will just write here pdf.html and then I will come here order.html I will just copy everything from here and paste inside pdf.html what I don't need here this navbar so we are not going to print navbar here then I will come here in order.html again so we have to give URL link here this will be URL underscore 4 and here I'm going to give the link of we have here get PDF so I will copy this get PDF from here and paste it here and then after that I will just give it a variable this will be invoice and this will be equal to orders dot invoice so now let's see what we are going to get so save this and uh, come to here okay so our program is not running try to run the program again okay let's see we have this if I click here so the file is not allowed why not allowed let me see okay so file is not allowed that mean I have to make here one form will be post and I will copy this as for I will copy this for action and just cut and put it here as action and a button equal to submit and here we write this get PDF and uh, button class I'm going to give it btn btn info not red I just remove this a and cut this and put inside this td here so now let's see how it is working so I come here refresh and okay we have the problem if you go down here you can see error fell to load file static CSS bootstrap man and with network status code so what we can do we will come here in bootstrap and you can give your own CSS whatever you want but here I just use the bootstrap 
and I will come here and copy these all and come to here in our pdf.html I will just paste it here and there the title I will make it get PDF and this is the title and for the HTML body and I will just remove this part from here and after this end content I will put it here so now let's see if we are able to generate PDF and still we are getting this error let's try okay our server is running so if I click now here and you can see here we have our PDF and uh, here you can see the colors and everything and uh, yeah so I will come here we don't need this get PDF here I will just remove it and this check out we don't need I will just remove it and here then if I come and do it again you can see here now this is our PDF so if you want to give some style you can give styles suppose uh, if you want to bold this invites so you can come here we have this invite numbers here I will just write here B and paste it here and I will refresh here again so now you see this one is bold and uh, if you want to give it custom style whatever style you like style and I will just write here float will be right so if I make it float right now you can see we have so now you see this one is float right so you can give CSS styles and whatever you want oh, like this you can generate PDF and uh, here is our code and this is all about uh, calculating things and here we just put these small check here and the uh, back response and PDF kit and uh, then response headers and here inline you can make it like uh, attach and uh, then semicolon attach and then if you come here go back and generate PDF and you can see here now it asking for the download if you download from here and that is your file and you see here down and this is your downloaded file PDF so here is the file name you see so like this you can generate PDF and also you can give it CSS style and suppose if you want to remove this borders so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye